Hey everybody, Thrift Store Hacker back again, and in the last video I showed you how to do some Dogecoin mining and use Unminable, which is a really easy interface to use. But let's get a little more advanced. Let's start directly mining coins on mining pools. I'm going to show you how to do that, and we're going to do it with a computer CPU. The two pieces of mining hardware everybody's going to have at home are your computer CPU and its graphics card. In this video, we're going to focus on CPU mining because it's the most accessible to everybody and it's resistant to uh, purpose-built Bitcoin and different coin miners coming in and stealing all the hashes. Now, basic computer CPUs are going to hash pretty slow unless you've got a big thread ripper right in the picture there. However, as I see it, you're going to use your extra processor flops here to get some free coins. So that's fun too. The CPU-only mineable coin that I think has some uh, value and uh, longevity right now is Monero coin, XMR. So we're going to start off by going to the Mine XMR website and going to the mining guide. The first thing the mining guide is going to tell you is to go get a wallet. And basically you get a wallet to get a wallet address so you can mine your coins to that wallet address. So you can see you can download the wallet here. Uh, the Monero project actually has everything kind of packed up into a nice little bundle and really easy to use website. But after you get your wallet downloaded and you get a wallet address, we'll move on to step two and download XMRig, which is the mining software to CPU mine to get Monero coin. Monero uses the random X algorithm, which is ASIC resistant. It is pretty much GPU resistant and can only be mined on CPUs. Now when you go to download it, you'll click on the button here and you'll get your flavor and it'll tell you, yes, Windows security, Chrome security is gonna get really ticked off at trying to download this. You're gonna to have to do your own security things to let it through and take your own precautions. Now we need to make a batch file with the command line to launch this miner and point it at the right server uh, make sure you put the right addresses in, and you can use the configuration wizard, but I prefer to just make the batch file. Here's an example of the command line you need. So we can take that command line and copy it and open up Notepad. With Notepad open, we can paste that in. And that long line of numbers and letters right there on the end that is a wallet address. You're going to need to change that in the command line to your wallet address. Which is pretty easy, just a quick copy and a paste. There we go. So after we got that set, I'm going to add in one little uh, thing on the end here. And this is going to allow us to, t uh, to tell which worker or which computer I'm using is which. We're going to use, uh, go dash dash rig dash ID space and then put a short little name with no custom crazy characters on it. I put thrift store hacker on YouTube. So we'll know this computer is hashing and differentiate between the other computers. So we're going to go down to save as, and we're going to make sure that we're in the XM rig folder because we want to save it there. We're going to select instead of text files, we're going to select all files. I'm going to name this mine XMR dot bat, B A T. And instead of saving it as a text file, it's going to turn it into a batch file, which is going to allow you to launch a program which is the mining program with all of that information right at the end of it to tell it what to do, where to point it, uh, what wallet address and stuff like that. Now that we have all that taken care of, we can launch the miner. All we gotta do is click on that minexmr.bat. Windows security might throw a fit again. You're gonna have to do what you need to do to get it to get through. And you're gonna get this screen popping up. Now while this is starting up, it might hang up a little bit. Just give it time, it'll start running. You'll see the line scrolling. And we're waiting for that green accepted share to pop up. As soon as it starts accepting shares, it'll start reporting on the dashboard of the web page uh, your hash rate. 
and this is just kind of kind of click on and eventually it will uh, there we go it looks like it's picking up pace and everything's just kind of got to dial up and tune in uh, one thing I recommend is you keep an eye on your graphics card and your CPU temperatures. Uh, since we're CPU mining, keep an eye on your CPU temperatures. Now, when you go over to Mine XMR's dashboard, you just put your wallet address in there and hit search. And it'll show you your hash rate. And down, down at the bottom here, it's going to show you your active workers. As you can see, Thrift Store Hacker on YouTube is starting to hash away. You can see I've had workers on and off this mining, just depending on, you know, if I'm running one of my big computers, I'll turn that on and let that hash in the background. Well, I hope this helps everybody out to start mining and using your CPU to mine a little XMR, and uh, maybe you'll make a little money off of it. In my next video, I will cover how to mine cryptocurrency with your graphics card. But until next time... Build stuff and have fun.